ladies and gentlemen it's really a great pleasure to see so many people almost at uh, 5:30 pm or 5:20 pm on sunday uh before we really start the validity program i request professor ekan naika also to join us on the dais we have uh, dr h k reddy who is the president of uh, american association of cardiologists of indian origin and of course satish gupta you know very well as the secretary general of the organization to every beginning there is an end there is a lot of enthusiasm there is a lot of excitement when we all come here and we are in a different mode and by the time it is close to the end we become in a different mode i personally feel that our mood should not change we should remain in the same mood all the time and think that maybe this is the end of the first show and we are thinking for the beginning of the next show next year so i was sitting with satish in the next room and what was our discussion nanan khanna was also there the discussion on what we should do next year now so we are not closing here we are thinking of the next beginning so all we think of the new beginning whatever is gone has gone but think of a new beginning so today we have already thought of a new beginning what changes we should make so that we do something better what we could not do this time satish am i right in my statement this is what i think we think we thought before i hand over the mic or ask for comments or questions to the audience i'll request satish to make comments and then we will say our hk reddy and ekanaika to give some comments and then it will be open for interaction suggestions so that we can do something better better and better and achieve what we really want satish would like to give any comments om shanti i hope that this congress for last three days have you enjoyed yes we tried our best dr chopra and myself to give you a spiritual scientific feast a combination of both scientific feast as well as spiritual feast feast from to 4 to 8 in the morning and in the evening 6 to 10 so it is a combination of spirituality and science and this is the only conference in the world where both are combined equally right eight hours of scientific session eight hours of spiritual session and this is the only conference in the world where it starts at 4 am and finishes at 10 pm so i was thinking that it is too too maybe too heavy it must be heavy isn't it was it very heavy no we at next time we are thinking of giving you rest in between maybe one or two hours rest in between after lunch at least so our main aim is to sort of empower the medical fraternity especially the cardiologist because we as human beings we need to be healthy and happy both right we doctors need to be healthy and happy because only a healthy happy happy person can make others healthy and happy this is what i feel personally am i right no so we'll try to make it next time even better than this time and we'll try to have more uh, interactions from the audience as well and we'll announce the dates we'll send you the dates because we have all the emails and phone numbers of everyone so we'll send you the emails and we'll inform you as early as dates are decided and uh, time is decided we'll let you know and then we'll ask you for you know registration for the next conference and uh, i'll hand over the mic to dr h k reddy for his comments then we'll ask for the comments from the audience i'll be very brief because the hour is running late but i think you know I, as i said before i feel very happy because uh, I, when i go back now i'm feeling i'm returning home happy this is the only time any only meeting that happens i go around the world i the, the part of the nandas and the chopra team i go around the world i attend conferences in many parts of the world but this is the only conference where i learn something and i'm very happy 
because you know in everyday life it's so stressful you know we are working from day to uh, every day every night every, so then uh, we are very stressed out we come here we relinquish everything no tv no shopping nothing no no movies nothing no alcohol no no parties so i mean that's actually i feel like a monk i i want to become a buddhist monk my friend from thailand said you can become buddhist monk for three days or one week you know you have to relinquish everything and you have to beg a little bit so but here this is actually better than that because this is a true hindu tradition not religious it's not restricted to hindus it can be anybody can is most welcome the spiritual most most spiritual conference i'm talking about the spirituality and that enhances the uh, quality of our discussion but also the the quality of the presentations and the slides the audio visuals everything is i think i'm not trying to exaggerate at the best best of the best i think there's not no parallel to this uh, i think the organizers uh, dr chopra dr satish gupta dr parashar dr nanda all of you every one of you uh, the organizers i think i commend them very highly thank you very much uh, dr ekanaika coming for the first time in a conference like this where there is a amalgamation of science and spirituality i like to have his impressions professor ekanaika thank you dr chopra this conference has reminded us that we are not mere machines that we are not just lumps of flesh and this holistic approach where the mind the soul and the body all are been treated it has given us good guidance we have become better human beings and as such i think we will become better physicians to our patients thank you very much uh, i would just like to mention one thing here that uh, seeing the definition of who comprising of all the components of physical mental social environmental and spiritual but there was no emphasis on spiritual at all this is the only conference which we come across in the world which tries to bring spirituality as an important component of health and this is the only cardiologist conference in the world where we try to mingle and bring in the spiritual component this is the only conference how we got this idea even we don't know how we conceived the idea we don't know there is some power which bring us together in every time we think differently we say okay this time we focus the north zone of india next time we'll fill south zone then central zone east zone and west zone what is our ultimate aim our aim is only one that we should be away from toxicity we see lot of toxicity in the conferences i am a president of csi i control whole cardiologist in india i find lot of toxicity there lot of alcoholism lot of tobacco smoking we talk against tobacco but we ourselves are the victim of tobacco we talk against alcohol but we find lot of victims of alcoholism we see lot of psychiatric or psychological abuse amongst us and then we talk of psychotherapy i think we need to make a paradigm shift that the doctors should be a healer and a role model you'll be very surprised to know ladies and gentlemen i had a very important duty to perform this year as a president of csi it is customary for me to go to acc meeting and esc meeting and i went to acc meeting but i chose this meeting more than the esc meeting and the president of esc called me repeatedly i virtually folded hands and i told him sir unfortunately there is overlapping i didn't know before that and we have some faculty led by dr navin sinanda and dr hk reddy they already got commitment so we will try our best to do this in the years to come with all the components spiritual component physical mental environmental psychological and you see the theme of the conference of our theme of the world heart federation is also environment and healthy heart they talk of environment and healthy heart but there is no focus on environment very unfortunate part i attended who meeting this time for two days right from morning 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the evening and there were about 63 countries of the world represented i was representing india there again i told them we keep on talking only about primary secondary but where is the basic structure where we change our mindset 
I think a lot of things are changing. We thought we should take initiative. And I'm really grateful to Satish, who really works so hard. The guy gets up in the morning at 4 o'clock and is awake till 11 o'clock in the night. I don't know what time he sleeps. And see, so many volunteers, they give services. And see the food. I can give an example of Professor Khalilullah, who is a giant in cardiology. He told me one word, which really elated me. He said, Doc Saab, in the last 40 years, I attended all the CSI meetings, but I never ate lunch or dinner anywhere. I order for my own lunch and for my own dinner. This is the only meeting I am meeting lunch and dinner right there. Because I find this is bland diet and this is the real food which we need. If you eat so much of food with a lot of spices and a very spicy food and too much of non-vegetarian and then of course people are eating and talking and they talk too much and how much they eat only God knows whether more or less only known to God. At least people are serving with a lot of compassion. I have seen the compassion here. The way they serve, they are standing in the queue to serve you, right? You go from the elevator up to there and everybody is smiling. I have yet to see furrows on the forehead of anybody here. I feel very happy and very comfortable here. This is my personal feeling for the last 10 years and I really want to continue till I am alive. And I am sure you all will continue with us so that we ultimately achieve the goal of heaven here. We have to create heaven. Not one person or two person can do anything. We all have to come together. That's the only way we can do it. And I'm telling you, it's two or three. If they come together, the whole world will be together. We need to change the paradigm shift. The thinking should change. Then you see, I tell you, I told so many times in the meeting, despite so much of sophistication in technology, all bioabsorbable stunts, what not we have, but the disease is progressing very fast. That means there is some conceptual or perceptible deficit somewhere. We need to introspect. Where are we going wrong? We don't know what to eat, when to eat, how much to eat, where to eat. We don't know how much to smoke. Should we really smoke? We don't know how much alcohol to consume. And all the time in an abusive mode, either we abuse our own body or abuse our colleagues nearby or abuse our environment. I think I heard our BK Janki yesterday and I remember the words which she mentioned that somebody asked her, are you married? She said, yes. What's your husband's name? And she said, Dilwala, Dil Aram, Dil Aram, Dil Aram, Dil Aram. You can take Dil and Ram also, Dil Aram, to give rest to Dil. And then she says, do you have children? Yes, I have got two children, one son, one daughter. What is your son's name? Son's name is Sukh. What is your daughter's name? Shanti. What is our aim? To be happy. What is your aim? To be happy. What do you get? Happiness from material wealth? No. I don't say we should not be rich. We should be rich to an extent so that we don't abuse ourselves. I have seen the people who are very rich, highest abuses are there. We are so rich spiritually. We should introspect what we should do and what we should not do. Only these two words of Dadi have changed the whole environment yesterday. It was full, house full yesterday. I am really surprised to be very frank. I didn't share this with uh, Satish Bhai. That when there are spiritual talks in the evening hours or in the early morning hours, it's house full. But when there is a scientific talk, people come down. Introspect. Why it is happening? That means people are more interested in the spiritual talk also to know and they are looking for happiness. One Dr. Agarwal, is he sitting here? Dr. Agarwal from UK. 
he told me, I earn so much of money now. My wife is a gynecologist, she told me, I don't know where should I go beyond this. I am looking for happiness now. See this. The guy is so rich, he has got everything of what he wanted and now he is looking for happiness. So happiness is not in the outside world. It's all within you. Here we learn. I'm not giving mic to Satish Bhai. He will talk only of that only. So that's the reason I'm not giving him. I'm telling you as a different person that we all at least once in a year devote two days or two and a half days for this peaceful environment. I'm cut off. I have yet to attend any telephone calls in the last two and a half days. I've got a list of 400 emails, but I have not checked those. I need rest. We are not like a machine. We need little to rest to our mind. I am cut off from everybody. The same way I am sure you are also cut off. When I asked Satish Bhai, that there are some people who are very keen to have the email. He has told us, what email email karna hai? Yahan par bhi email email karna hai. Oh, ultimately, he listened to me and he arranged for everything. So what I mean is that you need some rest. In your t lifetime, at least out of 365 days, please devote three days where you take care of yourself. Self. Please understand what is that self. And sometimes, Shadish Bhai says, we are not talking only of self, we also talk of self of the self. Self of the self. Please understand the philosophy. All the time we are in material world, material world, material world, we will all live here. Dr. Agarwal was sitting with me, he is not here unfortunately. He told me, Mujhe am mehsus ho raha hai. I speak in Hindi, Ki humne sab yahan chhod jana hai. Kiske liye bhaag raha hai? All the time we are in a rat race. And everything will live here. I don't say we should be passive. No, no, please don't misunderstand me. Today you see our Brahma Kumaris are not passive. They are not passive. They are coming on a wheelchair and giving us a lecture. At the age of 100. They want to be very active. When you have a spiritual experience, you are hyperactive without abusing your body. Highest prevalence of heart attacks we see in doctors. So we are taking initiative that we should save our own doctors. They are very useful. We really need your help to save our community so that they can be help of some help to the community outside us. So we need your support, we need your help, we need your suggestions and objective is only one, only two, Shanti and Sukh. Shanti is peace and Sukh is comfort, happiness. So happiness and peace is all possible by changing your perception. Even Brahma Kumari Janki, who is the head of the organization, can only express. Ultimately, it's you. Ultimately, it's we all. We are to perceive within us. And remember her words. She said she, she passed third class, three class, she passed sixth. She says she's plus, she's only educated class three. But she has seen the whole world. She has served the whole world. Hmm. See this. So where is literacy? We all need to be spiritually literate. A time has come, a spiritual literacy is a must. But not a spiritual toxicity, please. No toxicity. We all want to devote some time to introspect. Are we doing a right thing in our life? Are we having a light relationship? Are we having a toxic relationship? Are we having a toxic behavior? Now we have a guy coming from consumer forum. Dr. Kantikar, first time, you know, there is a lot of toxicity in the courts. Lot of toxicity in the court. I had been to a lot of courts, high court, supreme court. I know a lot of lawyers also in Delhi. And they are working till 3 o'clock in the night, smoking, drinking and working. Is it a life? Mr. Kantikar is here. He was highly taxed. He told me and sent me an email. Sorry, Dr. Chopra, I won't be able to make it. I know you have to make it. I virtually forced him. Why? Because he's all the time in stress, he's a doctor. And so much of so much of problems there. 
and he is a person, I saw him sitting in the lobby, enjoying, relaxing, going here and there. <coughs> so I think we all need to have some rest. And I think this is the platform where you should come forward, bring more people and create a huge new aura for everyone. That's what my words to you all is there. If there are any questions, any comments, suggestions, any one of you, please come forward, I, introduce yourself I, and I say a few words. I just want to tell you one thing that now you have come as a one, right? One person. You motivate now ten more people, right? At least of area, of, of your area, of your personal uh, specialty. Sir. And tell them that because if they come here, they will also get the same nutrition, same nourishment, right? Sir. So we can, we can hold a conference of 10,000 people, right? If 10,000 people are coming, we'll be ready to hold that, serve them. I attended a meeting of Dr. Deepak Chopra in the United States, San Diego. 9,000 people. 10,000 people. One man, one man can motivate the world. What does it mean? Everybody is looking for happiness. Lot of oncologists, lot of cardiologists, everybody is there. So we need to have a forum like this so that we also do something for society. Yes.